Mogetso mo dimeke ya ke ga mogela ga bel nana ga la go le le dimisa ke le express on SABC3 mogen tseng tseng fa o ka re witse le talo la ka la sisimo ga we talking about interacting with nature and so if you've had any interesting interactions with nature that you'd like to share with us give us a call on 0839133728 Luke Bax is in the chair and today we're talking about scorpions the different kinds that we find uh, all over Africa you're holding one of the biggest I've ever seen in my life but yet Luke says it's not that venomous so don't worry because if it has big pincers and a small tail not that venomous or not yeah. venomous so if it has a big tail small pincers be careful yes. watch out for it all right so at home in south africa what species of sport of scorpions are we most likely to encounter so it depends where you occur so the big the main venomous species that we get is your parabuthus um so in cape town we get your parabuthus capensis and your parabuthus granulatus is your parabuthus capensis Um, you move further up the coast, you start to get your van- your Parabuthus velosus, mm-hmm. which are these big, black, nasty-looking ones. They're about the size of a- the biggest one I found is about the size of a cigarette box. Um, you move further up the east coast, you get your Parabuthus mozambiquis and your Parabuthus transvelectus, and then also as you move inland, you get start to get your Namaquensis. Your mm-hmm. Parabuthus. So those are your really bad ones, but you do get your non-venomous scorp. You do get a lot of non-venomous scorpion species. So you get your Your Pistipithalamus, your Pistipacanthus, mm-hmm. your Hadrogenes, which are flat rock scorpions, your burrowing scorpions. For the most part, scorpions are actually very difficult to find. Oh, um, yeah. they, like they, you don't find them wandering around in the open. Um, you find them. Main, there we go. Like that's a burrowing scorpion. Your yes. Pistipithalamus. They sit there with their pincers at the entrance of their of their burrow, mm-hmm. and they catch whatever comes past. Uh, if they see you coming, if they feel, they mainly feel you coming through the vibrations. Yes. And they will literally tuck themselves underneath the log or under the rock or into their burrow. Now, I remember this a story of when we once uh, uh, went to camp, a choir camp that we had, and uh, one kid was said by the other kids to have been stung by a scorpion, and he was like, just, he was having this kind of anaphylactic reaction, mm-hmm. if you will. How dangerous are scorpion stings? And So it, it varies depending on the person, and it depends very on the scorpion as well. So like your Parabuthus granulatus, it's got a very, so that's, your, that's the telson. Or the stinger. Mm-hmm. Well, you can see the venom. The venom sac is that top part. There it the is. The bulge, yeah. So with your Parabuthus granulatus and most of the other scorpions, actually a, a neurotoxic venom. So it attacks your nervous system. Mm-hmm. Um, it takes its time depending on how how bad the sting is. If yes. it's injected a large amount of venom, where it's injected the venom into you, and how the person reacts to it. Ooh, I would love to hear some stories of what people have found out there uh, near their homes. And so if you do have uh, something that you'd like to share with us, do give us a call on 0839133728. I, ooh, wow. Okay, you asked me if I wanted to hold it. Um, but I'm going to ask you to hold on because we have a caller on the line. Thank you, caller, <laughs> for saving my life. Hello, good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm very well. Who am I speaking to? My name is Sadie. All right, thank you so, so much for calling us. What do you want to share with us this morning? I just want to find out, we on the property in Johannesburg yes. have every now and then found scorpions. But it's just walking down the passage or it's... Now, and my question is, we've got kids here. Now, obviously, we've all taken to wearing shoes. Yes. Now, how do we identify which is really dangerous and which is not so bad? Obviously, first prize is not to deal with them in the first place. Absolutely, absolutely. So I, I understand your concern having kids around. It is a bit of a problem. But with scorpions, when you're identifying the venomous ones, just look at the size of the tail. If it's got a very thick tail, um, then the scorpion is non-venom. Then it is highly venomous. But if it's got a thin tail, then it's not venomous. So if you look, this one's got a, a very thin tail and large pincers. That means it's non-venomous. And if it's got a thick tail but small pincers, then it is venomous. Yeah. I guess the question okay. to ask is, in which area of Johannesburg do you live? It's in Bella Vista. In Bella Vista. Where is that? In the... In the that is uh, south. The, in the south, yeah. in the south of Johannesburg. So are, are you okay with what kind of scorpions might occur in, in the southern part of... of uh... So that could be your, your Parabuthus... So the, the, big, the big, big venomous ones are your Parabuthus um, granulatus, mm-hmm. your Parabuthus transvelectus, and the Parabuthus mozambiquen. Yeah. But I guess the, gold, the golden rule, like you said, if it's got a thick tail, thin pincers, know that there's a, there a, problems, a chance yeah. of high, of high ve- ve- venomous, okay. um, it, it's venomous in nature. Mm. Thick, uh, thin tail, thick pincers, oh. then you're okay. Yeah. Okay. I tell you what, I'm, I'm struggling to even put my words together because uh, <laughs> Lucas said that I should hold the scorpion. You're sweating a bit there. And I, I'm sweating. Sweaty palms. 
and I'm afraid for my life, but I, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I don't need to panic, so no, I can just calm down and not, hello, little buddy, you're my buddy on my hand, and you will not sting. Okay, and uh, <laughs> Graham, whoo. Okay, can we go over to Graham now, because he's moving. Okay, take it away. Oh my 